Okay, I'll be talking about pump failure. So luckily this is not very common, but I'm just going to give a brief overview of what you should do when it does happen. Um, next slide, please. So it's basically just a mechanical failure due to a power loss or if there's a technical issue with your machine. Okay, so this can either be if your machine has not been plugged into the wall. In that case, is it not on? <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, cool. In that case, um, if your machine is not plugged into the wall, it would be notifying you constantly. So you will know if it's not plugged into. So this is not really, I don't think that would happen. And then the other reason would just be that the machine is broken. So yeah, that's why it fails. So the first um, thing that you should do is always isolate your patient from the system. And just to give a short explanation as to why. So when your machine stops, because there's no occlusion on your pump, because it's a centrifugal pump, um, there could be retrograde flow. So then your patient, if it's on VA ECMO, your patient can lose their cardiac output and blood will flow from your arterial side to your venous side. So that is why it's so important to first clamp your lines. Um, can skip, please. Okay, the next one. And then um, ideally, if you are more than one person with the patient, um, one person can attend to the ventilator and just switch the ventilator to a setting that optimizes oxygenation. If you are alone, you should call for help and attend to the ventilator. Um, all of this obviously happens very quickly. And then after you've attended to your ventilator, you can go back to your machine. So just to, um, next slide please. So just to show you the two machines that we've got here, the Nova Lung machine, the oxygenator and the centrifugal pump are two separate. Um, so the centrifugal pump is the smaller one that's connected to the machine and the oxygenator is the cylinder, whereas with the McKay, it's all in one system. So in that scenario, you should just know what to go to and what to change out. So in that scenario, you wouldn't necessarily with the Nova Lung machine go to the oxygenator. You're going to go to the centrifugal pump to fix the problem. Okay, so the next step will be to switch your centrifugal pump to the backup pump that the machine offers. And you're going to start flowing to at least 1,000 RPMs. Then you're going to remove your two clamps and you can commence flows back to normal flows. Ideally, you would want to go to the flows that the patient was on before. And then, um, yeah, so this is just to show you the Nova Lung has got a separate pump and a battery system. So you'll switch your centrifugal pump on that separate pump and attach it to the battery and it runs by itself. So you set it on that um, the separate unit, you can set your flows and it just flows by itself. Um, and then with the McKay system, they, the next slide please, um, the, they work with the hand crank. So you just remove the whole unit and place it onto the hand crank and then you need to generate the flows yourself. So in this scenario, you can't necessarily leave your machine. You need to stand there until someone else can bring you your new backup machine. So I'm just quickly going to demonstrate on the machines the process. Yvette, you can, Yvette will help me with the Nova Lung system. Okay. So let me just get this. Okay, so if you imagine this is now our patient and this is my arterial and my venous line. So if your machine fails, the pump would stop. So you wouldn't have to, you're not going to stop it because it is stopped already. So then you're going to clamp your two lines. And then you've got a separate battery system in your unit. So you just remove one of the batteries and then <clears throat> just connect your pump to the battery. Okay. Then this, um, so this is the one that's now the pump that has failed. So there's two 
buttons that you just press and you can just remove your centrifugal bump. And then this one is basically identical to that one, so it works exactly the same way. You just click it in and then it's into your spare pump. So now on this spare pump, you just, there's like a play button. Just press play. And there, so now I'm on a thousand RPMs. So I can remove my Venus clamp, my arterial clamp, and then you can just increase flows to whatever flows the patient was on before. And then, I don't know if you can see the flows there. Then you're on your backup system. It's easy as that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm quickly going to show you how the McKay system works. Um, do you want me to turn it around? Mm. Can you see? Okay. So on the McKay system, let me just see. Okay, so that's the same. If this is my patient, I now have to clamp my venous and arterial lines. Then... There's a, I think everyone will get a chance to play around with it. So you also just press a button to remove your whole, um, oh, sorry, I forgot this step, <laughs> um, to remove this whole console. <laughs> and then you just place it into your hand cranking system. And then you can start generating a thousand RPMs and then you're going to remove your clamps. And then you need to stand and hand crank until you've got a backup system. <laughs> so this is a bit more labor intensive. <laughs> so, yeah, and that's it. Cool.